Welcome back to Subnautica. <clears throat> I have no idea. Oh, that's a reef back. Okay, yeah, I recognize that call. I was going like, what weird creatures are out there that I never see, but I definitely hear? I was like, oh, that's a wreath back, Leviathan. Okay. And, uh, that, I got that. And the ba last batteries are still charging. <clears throat> well, I've got, uh, stuff to grab a hold of. I have a cave system that we wanted to go down to today. But yes, welcome back to Subnautica. Oh, we got a cat coughing. Oh, I've got all these batteries right here. I don't have to wait for them. Because uh, one of our last treasure hunting things into the Aurora gave us a lot of batteries out of those chests. Uh, I was having them sit in there to uh, become power cells eventually, but this saves us some time. Oh, I did a bunch of stuff. I don't know if you saw my window. Look in my bedroom. A lot of stuff from the Aurora there. And my window looking out at the uh, the garden. This is weird for you. I have another garden. I'll talk about that maybe later. But I found an old old ca a cave system with a lot of stuff that we're going to need. Another window here. It's not a great view. It's mostly just the storage to keep a hold of glass. But anyway, uh, I found a bunch of uh, a cave with uh, plants I'm going to need. So I just made another garden. But that's not what we're doing today. Today, we are going to, oops, is it this beacon, yes, beacon three, there's, there's a cave system with a bunch of stuff that we're supposed to scan, that's actually the radio signal for it. We're going in that direction, we're also going to be very careful. I do not want to encounter the Reaper Leviathan that hangs out around here. It'd be great for uh, views and excitement, but that's not what I want to do right now. further out here. Oop. We will one day encounter the Reaper Leviathan on camera and all of y'all will be excited because it's a neat scary thing. All right, this is where we need to go. It's down here. We have the depth to handle it. Oh yeah, this biome is neat. It's got these uh Weird mushrooms that have uh, really nasty worms inside. The, that one seems to be out and about, and we do, that's good. We don't really don't want its attention. Okay, well, anyway, you got this old base here, and there is a ton of stuff. That we are going to need. Like that right there. We need it's a thermal plant. That's gonna be nice. Uh stasis rifle. That that might be neat. With some of the nastier stuff out there. Not sure I've ever built a stasis rifle. But that's something we're going to wind up needing. The diamond. Oh, the, these are interesting. Um, when we get the prawn suit, we can straight out um, drill for resources. 
from clumps like that. That's lead, I think. It looks like lead. Uh, a thermal plant? Yep. And we'll be going inside of this uh, base as well. Power cell charger. Is there any more than those down here? Nuclear reactor. Okay, I'm going to have to get back into um, my sea moth for air and then search around the other side before uh, going in. This rifle. I got titanium, so apparently I already have it. Thermal. Thermal. I had a nuclear piece. That was interesting. Are there any more nuclear pieces? Because a nuclear reactor is cool stuff. So it looks like just the thermal at the moment. That's fine, but I was really excited when I saw that nuclear piece. Jelly shrooms! And there's really nasty creatures that live inside those. And dropping stingers, I haven't scanned those yet. Okay. Going inside after I air up. Not sponsored by air up. Or anything, really. I would like some money. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, easy. Okay. Okay. The drooping stinger will mess me up. Ow! Like that. They are poisonous. Oh, almost touch it. Okay. Okay, there's a PDA there. But this is important too. Water filtration machine. It's a neat little thing for the base I knew I wanted to get. It can make water. Once I, you know, get it. New Blueprint acquired. Integrate new PDA data. New PDA data. Oof. Okay. Back to the sea moth for. Air. Okay. There's a PDA down here. New PDA data. Oh, oh, ow, 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 oh, dang it! I thought I got away from it, but I guess I didn't. But I done died! Which, I wanted to try to avoid in this run through. So getting back down to the sea moth from here is going to be a giant pain. And what tends to happen when you die is you lose, uh, you drop stuff, usually. I have no idea what I dropped. Okay, so... I'm gonna keep this in, I guess. Uh, I am going to try to get back to my sea moth by swimming, so that's not gonna be easy to do.
but I'm going to try to do that and I'm going to keep this in the uh, in the in the footage even though I probably could have skipped it this is this is something we're going to actually leave in here the consequences of my actions those actions were dying which you know what I lost was all the titanium and stuff that I picked up by scanning those items so that's not a big deal and it's something that I can pick back up when I get back down there yeah so uh, how are you guys doing? I died that's a bummer That's, that's where we want to be. I'm gonna... I am going to swim back up, get, uh, refill my air, and then off I go to grab the sea moth. Hopefully... Hopefully get there. Oh, I think I'll make I'll make it. Yeah, I'm gonna make it. Yeah, this isn't gonna be a bit as big of a deal as I thought it was gonna be. Okay, well let's try this again. Hopefully not get super hurt by the drooping stinger. There's all the titanium. How much I don't really need, but you know what? Why not? Alright. Okay, well, there's stuff up. No, 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 no. This is actually one of those moments where it's easier to control in the computer version than it is the Switch version. This is one of those precise swimming moments that I'm like easier to deal with in the PC version than it was here on the Switch, which is unfortunate. Okay. Alright. So, we got this jobber. Data. Okay, can I get back out? Mm -hmm. 
think most of the important stuff I've gotten... Actually, yeah, I think I've gotten all of the important stuff, actually. Because I've been there. Yeah, okay. Though there's no more nuke reactor pieces, which is unfortunate, because I would have very much liked to unlock a nuke reactor, I did get the thermal reactor. Which is... Great. And that will indeed help me. Uh, I think I'm ready to head out. And back. This is definitely something I wanted to show you guys. I didn't want to show you guys me dying, but yeah. Okay. So... I don't need the beacon to be here anymore, so just grab that, head back to base, and see what I can do from here. I got everything from here, I do believe. As in the Aurora, I got the vending machine. Yeah, so... I haven't found the coffee machine yet. Which, that's another funny piece of tech. Is the coffee machine. It's not great, but it can get you, uh, like, free liquid. Not good. Not good. I mean, it's, it's not helpful, but at least it doesn't get spoil. But, what I do have is the water filtration uh, machine. I do have that now, and in order to use it, I'm gonna have to find some rubies. Dude! Not cool, back off! Okay, let me... It did give me a little bit to repair. Anyway. It can leave it as is. It's fine. Now it seems like the drooping stingers made me hungry. Because food dropped a lot. A lot faster than they nor it normally does. Okay. Eh, 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 eh. Okay, I'm pretty sure. Okay, thermal plant. Magnetite and aerogel, which I have magnetite, I think. Copper wire and aerogel. Well, I don't need the thermal plant yet, but I want to see how much magnetite we have. Not there. Not there. I might not have any, actually. But... I did, because it was needed for a depth module. Yeah, I don't think I have any more. That's okay. But the Seamoth depth module, I can go to, uh... 500 meters on that right now. 
which is really good. All right. So what else we got? Radio. Aurora, this is Sunday again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad, how many of you, I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunday out. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option to run, but so are all the others. Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of confidence that we can do anything. Oh, yeah, there's the vending machine. Okay. I could put a vending machine in my room. I have to, all I have to do is pull away some glass. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I guess I can talk about... Uh, talk about the other grow bed yeah sure why well, still have you guys here and these I picked up uh, in a cave system that was <laughs> anyway these are deep shrooms they're different from the acid mushrooms they need for a few things um, so Purple dotted things are gel sacks. Very important when making aerogel, which is something we need. And um, blood vine. That really produces these, this blood oil, which is also needed for a lot of chemical stuff later down the road. Okay. Well, I'll be heading out to try to find some rubies. Because I need rubies for aerogel. And, uh, but that's gonna be it, I guess. Uh, see you guys later with more progress and neat stuff to show. Uh, bye. Welcome back. To Subnautica. Okay, first thing, I put in a new storage cabinet for more stuff. And I found a, a power plant convert uh, charger. Okay, what's my message? Play partially translated broadcast. Nine new biological subjects designated. Mode. Auditing. Analyzing. Sharing subject locations with other agents. Not at all ominous. I mean, I've played the game before, so I know what that is, but uh, you guys, uh, we haven't encountered that in this playthrough yet, so, uh, yay. But we are actually here for a different thing, because we can build our brand new uh, wonderful vehicle. The prawn suit. It is normal when first piloting a prawn suit to feel a sense of limitless power. Prawn operators receive weeks of training to counteract this phenomenon. You will have to make do with self-discipline. Unlimited power. It's a mech. Okay, okay, mech. I built a thermal plant, and what doesn't do me any good here, but I can dismantle it and back off so. And I can dismantle it to um, move it someplace where it will be useful. But now that the prawn suit is ready. There's other stuff I gotta do. Welcome aboard, 
Like, for example, it deserves its own moon pool. So. Okay, that's a bunch of rare materials. I don't really need those. Okay, what do I need for a moon pool? Lubricant. I got lead and two titanium ingots. Okay, so if I don't already have lubricant, I can just harvest some from my outdoor garden. I don't need the lithium. Don't need the quartz. I do have lubricant. Connected. That actually was connected. Okay, I got that started. Okay. Oh, it's connected there too. Excellent. That actually is really good. Step in for a second. And did I hook up to? Oh, not that. Moment, I thought it did. So I think I wanted and that if I did want that then I did actually need the quartz. Okay, so I had thought of another another exit port. Right. There? 
I guess that's good enough. Because, uh... It gets three access ways to the garden. And entrance ways into things. Then there's the moon pool itself. Okay. Now, Prawn can go into its new home. And I can access its upgrades because I've got some stuff for it. One moon pool to another, and I have the uh, modules. In lithium for a storage module. That shouldn't be a problem. I had lithium. Lithium. There we are. Oh, water filtration. Yeah, I didn't know if I showed that one. I've got that. Oh, wonderful thing. It makes water and salt. So if I, I needed water, then no problem. I've got some. Okay, then back to the thing here. You can make a storage module. Uh, I see no reason why I can't attach that to the prawn. And I can carry a lot of stuff now. Which is good. Now, what did I want to do with the prawn suit? Well, I should probably eat first before I head out. But the prawn is going to be very useful, especially with its upgrades. The prawn is going to be very useful with other stuff we got to do. Oh, Cyclops depth, Cyclops depth, prawn suit depth. Okay, so so I'm getting distracted. I'm I'm so so sorry about getting so distracted, but uh, so much stuff on my mind. Okay, prawn suit, depth module. I need nickel. I need nickel. Well, there's only one place I know of where you can get nickel, but that's where we're wanting to go. Uh, so I'm going to grab some eats before we head out. Maybe listen to the new message. lunch before we go exploring anywhere. Okay, so what now? This is life pod four. We've landed close to the Aurora Flotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us, and I don't know how long we're going to last. We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Yeah, we encountered four before. Origin recorded to date, bank. They dead. Okay, so what direction am I going? So, with the prawn suit, I attached, it's like, the two arm attachments that I attached are the drill, for drilling stuff, doing a little bit of mining, and the grapple attachment, so that if anything I can't jump jet to, I can 
attach the grapple and swing. They are perhaps the best uh, attachments you could ever get for a prawn. I am trying to get to certain new biomes to progress. It isn't easy. And but the uh, first step is I get to my original life pod. That is usually a good marker of anywhere you need to go in the game. Now the jump jet only really works effectively underwater. A little bit on land, but it's much more effective under the water. Up, 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 I'm stomping around in a big old mech. suit gets kind of cool. Love using this thing. stuff I could pick up. I think for the stuff I need to find I can go down to 900 meters and that's cool because we're gonna need to oh yeah why not I have the drill arm let's drill some quartz This can get you large amounts of that particular resource that you're mining. Not gonna have any shortage of uh, glass or anything like that. By the oh, one little bit left. Gotten a little bit distracted with new mining options that was appealing to me. But yes, I can go down to 900 meters, which can take me to places on the map that I definitely would not have been. Uh oh. 
Okay, that thing we heard the broadcast from, that was the, that, yeah, that was it. That was one of them. It's called a warper. Because now it can teleport around, it can also teleport you. And, um, not the prawn suit or sea moth, you. It can uh, zap you right out of your vehicle. And the process uh, does hurt. So, in addition to all of that, you have that to worry about. Okay, this is the beginning of where we need to be. So this is something, honestly, I should have, um, left a beacon for, to be perfectly honest. Should have left a beacon at the top of this place. Detecting mass somewhere in this area. Unable to confirm whether it originated on the Aurora. Uh. Oh wait, what, what's up? What's going on, guys? Hi. Heard kitties meowing. I'm not sure if they're uh, if they're fighting or what they're doing. You guys, behaving yourselves. Anyway, the titanium mass they mentioned. It did not originate from the Aurora. Okay. Right, this is a good, good spot. And set a beacon there. Get out. Drop the beacon. And now I can go down back down here. And Looks like it's a lonely kitty. I was wondering about what the noise was. Apparently a noise a, a lonely kitty. Uh oh, warper. A lonely kitty that is vying for my attention right now. See if I can find that place. Okay, well, there's, the there's a crab squid floating around. They're nasty. Um, because of. They're nasty because they uh, shoot out an MB uh, EMP. Blast that uh, can mess with your uh, vehicles. Uh, I'm not sure if I got turned around or not. Oh no, the beacon's that way, so we want to go this way.
Anyway, yes, Lonely Kitty. She's trying to get comfortable on my lap as I'm playing. Then the power will return, but it it is a bummer because it messes with your uh, electrical equipment so hard. Drop the beacon to the uh, entrance of this biome. But I've got a lot of stuff I gotta do. Uh, no idea. To be honest, I have no idea where I'm going. Hopefully somewhere good. I wasn't really going anywhere with that jump jet session. Thermal vents. That would actually be useful if I wanted to build a base. I think I'm going in the wrong direction. I'm going a little more up than I anticipated. Uh, let's see. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Miss me. Try to avoid him if I can. I want to go down, but at the same time, I want to go down, but at the same time, there's something around here I'm trying to find. I think I instead wind up finding the entrance to the uh, next biome. Maybe not.
Oh yeah, I'm going. Yeah. Yeah, I found the uh lo I think I found the Lost River. Oh well, there was something I was hoping to find first, but it's okay. Lost River is good. It's like, how do you get a river underwater? Well, it's weird. The Lost River is weird. There's not exactly water down there. Don't get me wrong, it's... It's like safe... For your prawn. Not safe for you. Safe for your prawn. See? It's a layer of something. So you can find nickel down here. Also, um... Crystalline sulfur. Is this stuff that we're passing now. Ah. Might as well mine the nickel ore. Since I need it. provide a lot of nickel, which is great because I I will need nickel for other things. What I'll do for now, I uh, don't know how much storage I have left in the prawn, so I probably better cool it. cool thing. A giant ancient skeleton of a ginormous beastie. I could have afforded some. I quit the hand because I want I want the prawn to have a regular hand. What I want the prawn to have a regular hand for now. So I can actually pick up some stuff. Going back out down there in order to get crystalline sulfur. Pick up crystalline sulfur. of that I'm going to need, but picking up the crystal and sulfur. Okay, well, I guess I probably should try to get out of here. Let's 
got to be a way out of here. Is that the soldier do the priest or something like that? I don't know. This is the wrong way, I think. I think this is heading further down, and I don't want further down. Terrain scans indicate this biome contains unusually high concentrations of organic and fossilized remains. Yeah, that's a ghost leviathan. I am not wanting to go there. I think that way is where I need to go. I'm going to find the exit back out. Yeah, because I wanted to head subtly. Sort of. Subtle. I wanted to slowly move towards Beacon 3, because that is the entrance of that cave system. I got land here. I'll put the grapple arm back on. I came prepared. Oh, oh, I think I found the base I was wanting to find. Yes. There is some neat stuff to be found in this, uh, in this abandoned facility. It was keeping up with the logs, though I haven't really been reading them. It's like, this is, like, the last location of the Degrassi survivors. Integrate new PDA data. New blueprint acquired. Coffee machine. There's that. There's that. There's that one. Then there's a way on the inside, I think. Fine. I got a little bit away from it before, but it still attempted to attack. The 
Crab Squid's being very aggressive right now. Integrating new PTA data. Back off. Okay. Alien containment, gotta scan that. New blueprint acquired. PDF. Integrating new PDA data. Creature egg. Yellow, t oh, an orange tablet. As a PDA. Integrating new PDA data. I think that's everything. Good because I'm running out of air. I fell right over the edge just in time. It, in a way, it kind of avoided the crab squid. Kind of. And Apple. As we can continue to ascend and charge the uh, jet. Almost. Almost there. There we go. The controls can be a little sticky sometimes. Alright, I got plenty of stuff I need. I'll, uh...
be able to get down there soon. Dropping the beacon was the most important thing. The earthy glass. Dropping the beacon was the most important thing I had to do. So now I can get back here anytime. My first taste of the Lost River. And it occurs to me, I haven't even done... We've been seeing... Damn Reaper! Stupid... Uh, stupid Warper. Stupid Warper. Oh, darn. I hate Warpers. Swarm, swarm. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yep, yep, yep. Gotta keep going. The warper is after me. And it wants it wants to eat. Or whatever the heck it does. I know I know that it gets close, it hurts me. I don't know how it hurts me exactly, but it's not good. Alright, well, trying to get back to my base. Eventually we'll have better accommodations built up because this is the whole entrance to the last parts of the game. The uh, my way to the last parts of the game. I'm not still got a lot to do, but. Mining thing. Excuse you. It's a little bitey fish. Yeah. Uh, prawn storage. Give me your stuff. Okay. Get back in the prawn. And I can. Drill this quartz. You know, for these crazy trips, I should make a power cell and keep it on me. So that I don't have to worry about returning the base to recharge. I can just switch out power cells on the prawn. That's probably what I should be doing. A future thing. That would be a smart thing to do, wouldn't it? Now, yeah, if I wanted to grab things with the prawn, I had to take off the, uh, grapple arm, but around here the grapple arm isn't really needed. Working on it. Gonna be back to base soon. Then I'll be able to eat things. Do, 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 do. 
Do, do, da, do, da, do, do. The soundtrack for this game is so good. Definitely fits the stuff you do. Stop, 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 stop. Robot. A mighty robot. You know, chicks dig giant robots. Salt? Why do I want to mine salt? Nope, it's very picky. Very picky wanted me pointing that way. Okay. Well, that's fine. Okay, the power is about to run out because I don't have anything in the in that plant. Yeah, I know. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay, so let's snack upon some lantern flute, uh, flute, fruit. Vital signs stabilizing. Very good job, Karen. Okay. This is Life Pod Seven. Coordinates attached. Mm -hmm. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. Seven out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. I probably already found you. Okay. So. That. That. So, prawn suit mark. Mm. So, the prawn suit mark one depth module. I need. Plastic. Once plastic steel ingot and two ruby. I can do that. One ruby in that container. Oh, excuse you. The cat went barreling by the jump on stuff. Okay, flip. 
glass of steel ingot, I need titanium. Am I actually low on titanium? I guess it's what happens when I don't pick up any. Yeah, I am actually low on titanium. Huh. Weird. Unless it's a... Is that a quad titanium? There is not. I will need to collect titanium. Well, that's something I will do next time, among other things. So for now, uh, see ya. 